him so bad. You want to see them walk off the stage in shame. Like, yeah, you came up here, you thought you were nice. I think we're about to see the number one heel, the villain of them all, Mr. Jabaley. Yeah, so this is going to be Mug, who we saw earlier eliminating Lucky. And he is going to be going up against Alex Jabaley here. Alex uh, sent to losers by Justin Wong in a really good winter semifinals uh, match to open. So, which I which I really thought thought was very strong. So let's see how Alex runs this back here. He's definitely got the nicest stick. You hear you hear what Jabaley's been doing? Well, tell me what's he, he So he he beat a person in losers in a Street Fighter Six pool. Put his arm out. Said thanks for coming. Ooh. Hit him just right Ooh. out there. Beat him. Arm out. Thanks for coming. Ooh. Mm. He said, you keep the lights on, but I keep the games going. Ooh. You tell him, Alex, this is the game master here, man. This is Jabali Land. I made this the happiest place in Daytona Beach, okay? I would agree. But I, I, I'm really a big fan of Muggs' fundamentals here. Mm -hmm. Plays a lot of the right way. And what we saw earlier is, now, one of the cool things, the word on the street is, is that Block has got one of the best anti-airs in the game which is that neutral jump pierce that you saw, the thing where he just reaches out like that. Now, he may have that in other Street Fighter games, but this is the one that hits on the way up, hits mm -hmm. on the way down, and a lot of other commentators, not me, great commentators in this game, who I study and learn from, they, they always explain it's basically a dragon punch. Mm -hmm. but it looks like Chun-Li's uh, crouching pierce in, in newer Street Fighters, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. See, mm. but... <laughs> One of the things that we saw earlier in the winter semis match is Jabali's use of pressure and using the buttons, notably the stand roundhouse, stand strong, and of course going into the air with that jumping short there, able to even it up here and close the gap. That was really that's a really good effort from Cammy. Bugs like I got a Cammy too. Mm -hmm. You want to play with dolls? Let's go. And I'm referencing that because if you see Cammy and she's wearing a tie, that means she's a doll. Mm -hmm. That's the alpha version of Cammy. I got, I got the Cami, Cami on the backpack. Always got to represent. Oh, she's a great character. I enjoy using her in every game. Great dive kick there. Man, jabali has been able to really get a comeback and now get himself a significant advantage despite losing the first character. And he's not afraid to continue rushing down Mug's Cami, even if Mug has the rage gauge, mm -hmm. and that's what helps him win the trade there. But hey, I got a character advantage. No. I can do what I want. So I'm gonna dive kick as I please. Like, you know, I keep the lights on and the game going. 100%. You know, you're going to have to come a little stronger than that if you're going to take out Jabali and Jabali land. He gets the home, ter home field advantage buff. <laughs> oh, you can say that. <laughs> this is good stuff. Jabali Sabiki here just on point connecting with those with those links. What happens? Oh, but Ooh. escapes the corner. Good blocks. Yeah, now Mug is raging. Able to connect on Spiral Arrow by hitting low. We get a trade. Take the trades. Yeah, we get a trade. Mug using that stand roundhouse, which has a fantastic hitbox. I think it's one of the most underrated pokes in the game. Mm. Maybe not. Maybe it's recognized one of the best pokes in the game. But, yeah, getting that exchange against Hibiki's jump, I believe that was a jumping fierce, which is a very problematic button. So being able to get that trade is a huge plus in Jabili's book. But now Mug has a character advantage here. And he's going he's gonna to push the tempo with Cam. He's not going to be aggressive trying to... Waste some time here. He's going to chase. He's going to mm -hmm. chase. Well, it, it, like I said, you know, a lot of times when you have that character advantage now and you have low life, your whole goal is just to steal life back. You, you just want to make sure that next time you go in, you don't have to work as hard. Exactly. You want to make this game as easy, as comfortable mm -hmm. as you possibly can because there's so much going on. Oh, 100%. Oh, got the JD. Got the JD on the Dragon Punch, which means that I'm going to get the, the meter built as if you hit me with the Dragon Punch. Good blocks. Got him with the uppercut. Oh, gets that slide. Said, I don't even care if you're going to throw a fireball or not. I'm going to hit you in front, and Jabali can take oh. this. Wow. And that's going to be guard question. Is that enough for another blocker ball? Yes, but not enough for the kill. Now, Mug holding on to that level three. He needs that level three to really close it in. Goes for the Tiger Raid. Nobody Ooh. home. Oh, that no. is rough. That's a good super, too, because mm. it's very easy to connect it. Oh, Jabali's waving. Hey, guys. Hey, it's me. Keeping your lights on. Hi. <laughs> you know, probably one of those things, you probably get a TikTok going where you get, like, the Taylor Swift song, like, I'm the problem, it's me. I do that. We can meme it. We can make it. We sure can. I want to point out, too, um, how back and forth that was. Mm. 
I mean, there were character advantages on both sides, swinging it back and forth, and then you finally see it at the end. Jabali has that advantage and is able to hold on. So, okay, so Jabali's going to start things off with Candy here, and I, li I like that approach because I, I love the way he's using this character. I honestly do. Very aggressive. Just keep it. Best stage, by the way. Call them with a cannon spike. You gonna take it? You, this is your favorite stage. 100%. Uh, I'm, I'm a true love making guy. I know it's everyone else's, <laughs> but come on. Like, look at the characters in the background. You got uh, Rouge from Power Stone. You got mm -hmm. Dudley. You got Rose in the back. Oh, I love those people. Those are, those are my people, dude. Spiral Arrow trying to chase a block of ball on Bach. Doesn't convert, but Jabali able to push the tempo here to get that guard gauge building back. All right for the cross up. I uh, didn't want to get that JD'd on the air to air. More rage happening. Oh, we got a little bit of a stare down there, but Jabali just pushes the step up. Air to air again. Get closer. He's walking him back. Yeah, now Mug has lost the K groove. Cool again. Oh. Nope. It's not that safe this time around. Block with the stand fierce to stomp out the cool again. Hooligan's very easy to interrupt in this game, but it's still a good option to have here, though. I do like it, especially this one of the earlier games where Hooligan can go in a dive kick, mm -hmm. and that cannon spike takes it. Candy scores another one. Jamali's really getting a lot out of this candy. 100%. Like, really. And, and I saw it earlier against Justin Wong. Like. Mm -hmm. But Mug has had a pretty solid response with the candy. Mug's so. candy's looking pretty clean, too. Oh, jump back, dive kick. That's a thing in this game. Good read. I know. Kind of, you don't want to see that in modern Street Fighter games. No. I, I mean, jump I, back to dive kick. As a Yowza. candy main, yes. I would love to see it. But I don't want to have to deal with it. It would be nice for her to have that in six, though. Not going to lie. I think she's got some good stuff in oh, six. Oh, she's though. a beast I do in like six. Character. Oh, caught him crossing up with the double quarter circle back kick. That's kind of like the Shin Ryukin. Mm -hmm. Kind of similar thing. And, and you mash the kicks buttons to get a little more extra damage on that. Ready to look up Spike. Oh no, Jabali, one good hit away. Can he chip it out? Ooh. Yes, he does. Chips, guac, and salsa. That's a two character advantage. Now, just have Mug has to hold down that defense. He has to get a reverse OCV here to stay in the tournament. To stay here in the top eight of Capcom versus SK2. Goes low. Oh. Short hop. Nobody home there. Off to a good start. Yeah, and he's actually got enough time to build mm -hmm. back to full health as well. And he got the K-Groove at about 30% there. And see, because he won the K-Groove, carries over. Mm -hmm. So that's very advantageous. Sometimes full health, full health. sometimes I want to see like players have like an 80 90% K-Groove, and they just kind of just let it rock and get the win in the next round. So you can start off the next match just one tap away from getting angry. Mm -hmm. And just use that damage advantage. Yeah. I like this color palette. Um, for for Hibiki's, uh, Jibale, for Jabali Sabiki, actually, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that cross up, that jumping oh. fierce, like how you can choose which side it hits, is pretty dangerous. Bailey Sabiki's not uh, not getting it done this round. Yeah, the low tiger shot there gets it, but he's got him below half health. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a big win, below half health, and you got about a 15% gauge on the K groove. It's, yeah, so you got about 50% on the K groove, and a block is Jab but Jabali's block is oh, very dangerous. Oh, it's a dangerous. beast. No pun intended. It is a beast, yeah. Not a fan of the color scheme, though. I gotta, I gotta get this one to mug again. I think it blends in. I think it just looks like he's already in K groove. <laughs> well, it's that deception. Yeah. Am I angry? Am I not? Tiger Raid escapes from the corner. Interesting use of the level three, but he's got a significant life lead, especially with that Tiger uppercut. We'll continue taking further. Kinsos so throws in there, direct lightning, there's nothing he can do. Mm -mm. There's nothing he can do, and Jabali takes out Mug. I mean, good effort from Mug. 100%. Like, being very able much. to get some character advantage, being able to convert, and they both played very similar characters mm -hmm. and their approach to it, but that was just a really strong effort from Jabali. A lot of good overlap. The, the fact that he took his, you know, his forgot, brought it back to that final character and, and, and had an opportunity 